begin the presentation of the case for the former president. Go ahead. In 2000, the dispute over the outcome was taken all the way to the Supreme Court, which ultimately rendered a decision. To litigate questions of election integrity within this system is not incitement to resurrection. It is the democratic system working as the founders and lawmakers have designed. To claim that the president in any way wished, desired, or encouraged lawless or violent behavior is a preposterous and monstrous lie. In fact, the first two messages the president sent via Twitter once the incursion of the Capitol began were, stay peaceful and no violence, because we are the party of law and order. The gathering on January 6th was supposed to be a peaceful event. Make no mistake about that. And the overwhelming majority of those in attendance remained peaceful. Tragically, as we know now, the January, on January 6th, a small group who came to engage in violent and menacing behavior hijacked the event for their own purposes. According to publicly available reporting, it is apparent that extremists of various different stripes and political persuasions pre-planned and premeditated an attack on the Capitol. One of the first people arrested was the leader of Antifa. Sadly, he was also among the first to be released. From the beginning, the president has been clear. The criminals who infiltrated the Capitol must be punished to the fullest extent of the law. They should be imprisoned for as long as the law allows. The fact that the attacks were apparently premeditated, as alleged by the House managers, demonstrates the ludicrousness of the incitement allegation against the president. You can't incite what was already going to happen. 